Sadhguruji, what is the quality uh, you find in an Indian woman when compared to the world woman, other countries? What is the best and beautiful quality? One single quality can be Are you trying to get me into trouble? <laughs> How she is different and how she is greater than when compared to the other women all over the world. <laughs> See, uh, I don't know why we are putting only women on the focus. <laughs> We are always putting women in the focus because we believe either they can be right or wrong. And of course, men are right. So because we are always right, we are looking whether this is the right kind of woman or the wrong kind of woman. You must understand, for whatever reasons, The nature has given a larger responsibility for the woman in terms of bearing a child and having a profound influence on the child in the early part of child's life. And when we talk about a child, don't think this is about reproduction. You and me are here because of that. So, our very existence began in a woman's body. That is, if you're normal birth, I am normal birth. There are some people who claim they dropped from elsewhere, I have nothing to say about them. <laughs> if you're normal birth, our life began in a woman's body. And today, the simple biological factors of being male or female, we are exaggerating it too much. I'm saying, when you're walking on the street, why should you be bothered whether somebody is a woman or a man? Why are you bothered what is in somebody's pants? It's not your business. Only in bathrooms and bedrooms it should matter, nowhere else. In the working places, on the street, wherever else we are, why should it matter whether somebody is a man or a woman? Why can't you just treat, it, treat them as human beings? I think we are excessively focused on this, which is creating a very unhealthy atmosphere. That means we are constantly over-infatuated with body parts, that is why we are going on recognizing people as… by their gender. You are not recognizing people by their intelligence, by their capabilities, by their competence, only by their gender. But it is not a fair way of looking at the world. For certain aspects of our life, gender is important. But for rest of the life, how much brains you got is important, how much capable you are is more important. Gender is only valid in certain relationships. In rest of the relationships, gender shouldn't even come into the picture. Only then there will be equality. There is no need <clears throat> there is no need to go on talking about women's rights. We must say human rights and women are part of it, that's all. So, about the Indian woman, <laughs> should I still talk? In this country, for a long time, we've nurtured many wonderful things. But these wonderful things, because of many misunderstandings, have also taken on very horrendous forms. When I say it's taken on horrendous forms, many simple things which were done for the protection of the woman, for the well-being of the woman, 
have become discriminatory over a period of times and taken on very horrendous forms of exploitation. We must look back and see why these little things were created. If we don't address these things, the Western world is in… on a binge because they want to make male and female equal. It is not necessary to be equal, equal opportunity is fine. It is not necessary to expect a woman to do the same things that a man is doing. Then what is the point of the gender differentiation that nature has made? It's important, the feminine in the world is as important as the masculine in the world. <clears throat> if… but today, in the name of equality, women are coming to your place where they are beginning to act like men because they know that's the only way they can succeed in the world. The only way they can succeed is they have to act like men. You see, even women doing like this these days, uh, this is not necessary because if you destroy the feminine, then you truly have enslaved the woman. If you do not value the feminine in the world, all the gentleness will go away, you will have a marketplace at home also. Your, mar your marriage also will be a marketplace. It's already happening big time. Before people marry, they are making an agreement. When we break, who will get what in this house? Yes, prenuptial agreements are being made. Before we get married, already an agreement, if we break, my bank balance is mine, yours is yours. How can two people live like this? But here, still we have the joy of two people becoming one and enjoying that maybe after some time you will fight, but still, <laughs> at least you have the joy of weaving two lives into one. When you go at it like this suspiciously in the name of equality, you will never know the joy of knowing each other, mingling with each other, being one with each other, nothing will happen, home will become a marketplace, this is because of wrong ideas of equality. Equality you should not even talk about, we should talk about responsibility for each other.